I'm going to lump these two guys here together because I think at points in their career, they have seen very similar here. We got it running back 19, J.K. Dobbins, and running back 18, Miles Sanders. Two guys where if they're healthy, the teams are rolling. Um, they should be the number one back on their teams. J.K. Dobbins could be in a slightly better offense that has Lamar Jackson there, and Miles Sanders finds himself with a rookie. Tim, talk to me about these two guys. Which do you prefer? And is there any little note you want to give people when when they're really thinking about drafting these guys? You know, in the range uh, where it's player, they're going player uh, fifty. So we're talking the we're talking like that fifth round. Yeah, I. I don't want to touch Dobbins, but I will recognize that Dobbins has a ceiling if he's healthy. And I think that Sanders gets a lot of the work, but I actually prefer to take Chuba as a handcuff for Sanders. The more that I've thought about this last few weeks, I think I think Chuba is a better way to go. So I'm kind of avoiding both of these guys uh, as well before even bringing up the fact that they're in the mid 50s of ADP and I can pretty much go any other way and not take them and feel better about the pick I made because they just feel very very thought of as safe, but they're not really safe at all. And I recognize, like I said, that JK probably has a higher ceiling, but like, I also think he has like a zero floor. Yeah. He's a hyper efficient guy, but you know, the passing volume has never been there. I mean, we're talking like a 2% target share and Sanders, he's been one of the least efficient. His yards per route run is like to, at the absolute bottom of running backs in the league. Of course, you know, the coaching staff has come out and said that they want him to return to rookie status, get 50 targets. But unless you're buying into that, it's really hard to see too much upside with him. And with Dobbins, yeah, super efficient. But again, with Lamar there, where's the goal and where go? He might also just not have that ceiling. Like you said, yeah, if JK gets a little more work than we're expecting, he could have the higher ceiling. But I don't know if either really gives us this and we want. Similar to like a James Conner, I don't think they hurt your lineup, certainly. I think they could stabilize their finest at RB2. It's just the spot of the draft you're taking them. It's really, really hard. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up just by saying, like a player like Rashad White, we just talked about who goes 25 picks after these guys, a whole two rounds. We can move past, let those the good wide receivers dry up, pass on Miles Sanders, and I'm going to take Rashad White a good bit later. I don't, I'm not really going to press it on Miles Sanders and force the pick, even though, I mean, I like the situation. I think it's fine. It's just, what is that offense really going to give us in Carolina? It could be a bottom five offense in the league. Like, I'm not saying it will be, but with these rookies, it, it certainly isn't out of the question. Um, 